next we will discuss about uh, subquery with select so it it is already discussed now we will discuss about subquery with update subquery with insert subquery with delete okay so and uh, we remember that uh, while using subquery please use in operator rather than equal operator okay and uh, the subquery and correlated subquery difference is subquery means the output of subquery is the uh, sorry not subquery the output of inner query is the input of outer query or main query correlated subquery means the input of main query or outer query is passed to the inner query okay see uh, this is the subquery the output of inner query so the output of inner query is submitted is the input of the outer query so this is the input of the outer query correlated subquery means the input of the main query the input of the main query means this is the input of main query okay is passed to the inner query means this is the inner query okay this is the main difference between subquery and correlated subquery so now we will discuss about um, subquery with insert uh, select star from emp see here i have a table structure i have employee table okay so in this employee from this employee table i want to move particular records to the another table which is which is already exist in the database okay suppose if the table does not exist in the database then how do you write the query just put here into and make some table name just like employee backup but if the table name already exist in the database then how do you write the query to populate the records into that table okay so that's it insert into first of all we have to create the table okay uh, just i am creating the table emp underscore backup which does not includes any records so where one equal to means this condition is false that's why if you execute this query only table will be created rather than moving the records okay records will not be moved see zero rows affected records will not be inserted okay so you can check it emp underscore back records will not be there so write this emp underscore back and i want to move the records select star from employee where department number equal to uh, 30 okay how many records are there six records okay now execute it including the insert statement six records are moved you can check okay so here uh, i didn't have any uh, what we call identity property column serial number so that i can directly write the insert query without using the column names without writing the column names okay but if the serial number is there then uh, it will not allow at that time you need to specify the column names
Okay, you need to specify the column names. Now I want to move the department number 20 records. Execute it. Five records are affected. So see department number 20, 30. So this is the way to write the subquery with insert query. Okay. Uh, next one is update with subquery. Uh, where it is? Uh, now I have one question like uh, I know the department name research okay i want to update the department name research employee details whose salary is zero i mean i want to update the salary of employees who are working under the research department okay so at that time what to write the query so so here uh, Where it is employee backup. So I am working on this employee backup only. Okay. So update EMP underscore and set uh, salary equal to zero where department number. Okay. In now, here we have to write the subquery. Select star from DEPT where department name equal to research. Okay. And here subquery we have to consider only one column. It will allow only one column, not multiple columns. Okay. So, see. First, execute the inner query and we will get 20. So, here 20 will be passed to the department number. Okay. Five rows affected. You can check here. Five rows affected. Okay. So, all department number employees are having zero salary. Okay. So, this is the way to write subquery in update query. Okay. Next one is delete query. So delete query also same. So I know the department number. Sorry, department name research. I don't know the department number. So, but I want to delete the recent research department employee details. In that case, first of all, we need to write the sub query. Okay. So where from this you can get the department number and write here delete and EMP underscore back. Now execute this five rows affected. That department number 20 records was deleted. Okay, so this is the way to write the delete with uh, subquery and insert with subquery, update with subquery. And uh, difference between subquery and joins means uh, I think it will be good after discussing about joins. So in performance wise, generally we will go for joins only rather than subqueries. Okay, so after discussion of uh, joins, I will discuss about the difference between subquery and joins. Okay. In some cases, uh, joins and subqueries both will produce same result. In some cases, not some cases, many cases it will produce different results. Okay. 